Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my Red Dead Online tip series. Today we're going to be talking about a very simple and important question. What exactly does horse insurance do and is it worth buying on your horses in Red Dead Online? So you can purchase horse insurance for $125 from any stable. It's exactly the same price for every horse, so even if you have one of the highest level horses, it will still be the same price of $125. Previously the price for horse insurance was 5 gold bars, however Rockstar changed this with update 1. However $125 is still a very big price tag, so we're going to be taking a look at if this is worth it or not. Now I did some testing here with my friend to find out the real differences between having horse insurance versus not having horse insurance. So let's say for example another player in Red Dead Online kills your horse. With no horse insurance, the other player will still be charged a fee of $4 and reviving your horse will be free, you will still get your horse back. I believe update 1 changed this so the veterinarian fee is paid by other players so you don't have to actually pay for other players or griefers that kill your horse. If you do have horse insurance the scenario is still the same, other players will still be charged the $4 to revive your horse. The next test was to see what happens if you kill your own horse or if an NPC shoots it, if an NPC shoots your horse, it's the same consideration as in you killing your horse. So with no horse insurance, you will be charged a fee of $4 to revive your horse. You can press left on the D-pad and revive your horse from the stables menu after a cooldown of 2 minutes. If you call your horse before the 2 minutes is up, the game will give you everybody's favourite horse, the scrawny nag. On the other hand, if you do have horse insurance, the $4 fee will be waived, so reviving your horse is free. However, you do still have to wait that 2 minute cooldown to get your horse back. So having horse insurance doesn't give you the horse any faster, it just saves you paying that $4 fee. In this next test, we tested horse insurance and its effect on injured horses. So if your horse does get injured, it will fall to the ground and you'll have a minute or so to revive it or else it'll die. Now horse insurance has no effect on this at all. Horse insurance won't give you a free revive. You'll still have to buy a horse reviver to revive your horse. So in conclusion, the only real difference between not having horse insurance and purchasing horse insurance is that $4 vet fee when it comes to healing your horse if you're liable for killing it. Everything else will stay the same and even if you don't have horse insurance and another player kills your horse, they will be the ones taking up the bill, not you. So considering horse insurance costs $125, that means that you have to heal your horse over 31 times to make it worth purchasing that insurance. Otherwise, it's better off just paying the $4 fee if you do manage to kill your own horse. And remember that 31 times doesn't include any other players killing your horse because in those circumstances, they will be the ones paying for the, the, the horse to be revived, not you. For this reason, I decided against buying horse insurance on my main horse just because I've only had to ever pay this fee a couple of times. It's not really all that often my horse dies and I'm not able to revive it. Another thing to take into consideration is that as you purchase new and improved horses that become available at higher ranks, you'll have to purchase horse insurance again on these mounts. So if you're currently using a low range or a mid range horse that you might only be using for a couple of weeks or even a couple of months, until you unlock a newer horse when one becomes available, you're probably not going to have to heal it 31 times to make the insurance premium worth it until you upgrade. So unless you guys are already using the best horse in the game that you're going to be sticking with for the remainder of Red Dead Online, then horse insurance is probably not worth it. I think a lot of people panic buy the horse insurance when they see it because they're scared they might lose their horse forever like you do in single player. So I think it's a little bit misleading in that way and could be explained a lot better in the game because I really don't think as it stands horse insurance is worth it. But do let me know in the comments guys what you're doing with your horses. Are you buying horse insurance or are you going to be saving your money and just paying the fee if it does happen to die? If this video did help you guys out, I'd really appreciate if you could take a second to leave it a like and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Red Dead tips and tricks like this. Have a good one guys, and I'll see you in the next video.